Well, unfortunately tonight, Indiana is ranked 15th in the entire nation when it comes to deaths from overdose. In fact, today, the governor and state leaders announced five new opioid treatment centers to help combat the epidemic. And for the first time, Indiana Medicaid will pay for methadone treatment. 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman first told you about the plan for more centers, and she's back tonight from Greenwood with details on who will be getting help. The FSSA secretary says these new sites were strategically placed. She says it's based on science, data, and compassion. Amy Rarden walked the path of opioid addiction for 13 years. She credits an Indianapolis treatment center for saving her life. It seems like it's easier to get drugs than it is to get treatment, and it shouldn't be that way. Now she wants addicts living in underserved areas to get a second chance, too. This is something that needs to happen. We're normal people just like everybody else. We just, we just want to work, and we want to be part of the population. We just want to go and get our treatment and live our lives. Rarden shared her story as the state announced the opening of five new opioid treatment centers. The thought of reclaiming lives brought emotional moments for Governor Eric Holcomb. Seeing the sunrise and, and people going to work in the morning, getting their life back, having light shining down in what may be an individual's darkest hour, this is a day of encouragement for us all. Thirteen investigates first revealed Indiana would get five new treatment centers back in May. Wednesday morning, the Family and Social Services Secretary identified the chosen health systems, many of them located in areas plagued with high overdose deaths and naloxone use. This is how we combat an opiate epidemic, by putting people first. The selected sites include Valley Vista in Greenwood to cover Johnson County, the Bowen Center in Bremen in Allen County. Sycamore Springs will serve as a provider with facilities in both Lafayette and Bloomington, covering Tippecanoe and Monroe counties. And finally, the Hamilton Center in Terre Haute in Vigo County. The idea is to limit overflow crowds like this one captured by 13 investigates back in 2015. Many patients were traveling over an hour to get treatment in Indianapolis. It's so humbling to know that somebody who is in charge of the entire state sees me and others like me and is moved by our plight. Granted, we brought it on ourselves, but, but we're people. Dr. Walthall acknowledges that this does not solve the entire problem. There are still coverage gaps for treatment for opioid addiction here in the state. But she says this is a start. Reporting from Greenwood, back to you. All right, thank you, Sandra Chapman, tonight. And here's a look at why these treatment centers are needed. When abused, heroin and certain prescription painkillers unload endorphins in the body about 100 times the amount of naturally produced endorphins. So the user becomes accustomed to a pleasurable sensation that they will never be able to recreate on their own. Your body stops producing endorphins after prolonged exposure to unnatural amounts. For those who attempt addiction recovery on their own, it is tempting to just use one more time to alleviate the painful withdrawal.